Welcome back to my channel, Geophysics for Everyone. I do hope that you enjoy the video. Thank you. Today we are going to talk about rocks and why your scientist likes rocks so much. This video is designed as a part of a course at Institute Technology Bandung called Elementary Geophysics. We are going to discuss about rocks and we are going to discuss about what we are going to do with rocks. So, why geoscientists like geophysicists or geologists like rocks so much? Okay, for geoscientists, rocks are important. Just like a detectives like their uh, uh, evidence for crime. We like also to look at the rocks as evidence about the history of Earth, or probably the history of part of the Earth. Apart from providing evidence about their histories or history of the Earth, rocks also provide clues about their potential uses or the potential uses of their surrounding as natural resources. So any other materials that we like to study apart from rocks? Yes. We also study other type of natural uh, material such as sediments, muds, soil, ashes, and even ice. Geoscientists also study various type of natural fluids such as groundwater, riverine and lacustrine waters, or river waters and lake waters, sea waters, and also other type of fluids including hydrocarbons and natural gases. So, how do geoscientists study the rocks? There are a number of ways to study the rocks. The first one is through descriptions of rocks. So, geologists or geophysicists would describe the rocks based on their colors, textures, structures, mineral compositions, layering, hardness, and even solubility in acid. Secondly, geoscientists also study rocks through identifications of their mineral composition. This could be done under observations of thin section under the microscope, for example, or using what's so called the X-ray diffractions analysis or XRD analysis. Geoscientists could also study rocks through identifications of the elemental compositions of the rocks. This could be done, for example, by the X-ray fluorescence analysis or by various types of spectrometry. Geoscientists could also study rocks through the measurement of their physical properties, such as density, magnetic susceptibility, resistivity, and some other physical properties. In special cases, there are other informations on rocks that are considered more important than their composition. For instance, sometimes what we want to know from the rock is the age of the rocks. This is called dating. So absolute dating of rock is also important. In some other time, it is not the composition that is important for geoscientists, but for instance, the record of magnetic field. Rocks or sediments could have tiny magnetic uh, minerals that record the Earth's magnetic field during the formations of the rocks. Sometimes in special uh, uh, aspect, for example in hydrology and geotechnical engineering, it is porosity and other mechanical properties that are more important than the actual compositions of the rocks. In the next videos, we are going to talk about the mineral composition of rocks. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.